These are 12 of the most powerful plugins for Final Cut Pro, and there's links to all of these in the description. And number one is Imroto AI. It's like green screen, but minus having to actually have a green screen. All you have to do is take the Imroto AI effect, drag it onto your video clip, then use this magic selection tool to roughly outline the object you want to isolate. The AI will then detect where the edges are and create a really precise selection. Then you can click track and this small processing window will pop up and it show you the progress as it continues to analyze the rest of the video. And now you can easily set any photo or video that you want as the background to this clip by selecting the clip on the timeline and placing it above the video that you want as the background. Next up is M Puppet. This is also for creating animations, but takes things to a whole new level with the ability to bend, warp, and stretch objects. Now to get started with this, the object that you're going to be making into a puppet needs to be separate from the background. So you could either use a clip art object or use Photoshop to remove an object from a photo and bring it into Final Cut Pro as a separate layer. You can then manipulate that object with M Puppet and create keyframes between different points to create your own animations. Number three is the M adjustment layer, and this is one that every Final Cut Pro user should have. An adjustment layer is an element that can be placed on the timeline above a video, and then any effect that you add to the adjustment layer will be applied to the video directly below it, allowing for non-destructive adjustments to be made to video footage, and it also makes it easy to then apply those same effects to other videos in the timeline, which you can do by just copying the adjustment layer and pasting it above another video, or by extending it out over another neighboring clip. Number four is M Camrig. I mainly use this one for adding zoom effects, and while there's lots of other ways that you could add a zoom effect, I particularly like this one because of the way that it smoothly and slowly eases into the zoom, and it's really fluid. There's also pan and tilt options in this plugin that are not otherwise available in Final Cut Pro. Number five is a plugin called M Tutorial. This has a bunch of great tools for making tutorial videos. There's 107 different effects in this plugin, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to cover them all, but a few of my favorites are the shortcut displayer, so if I'm saying hit shift command three on your keyboard, I can also be showing this on screen. All of these different zone magnifiers are useful for zooming in and highlighting certain areas of the screen. This text template that has a pointer line is perfect for displaying information about specific objects. This corner drop zone effect is perfect when you're in the middle of a tutorial and you want your talking headshot to stay visible, but just scale down to the corner so that you can show something else on the rest of the screen. And there's a bunch of pointer effects that are great for helping your viewers navigate through user interfaces because you can show them exactly where you're clicking. Number six is M Vertical. This helps you integrate vertical footage into your videos. Just by dragging this adjustment layer onto the timeline and placing it above a video clip, it will eliminate the black bars by adding a copy of the source footage to the background. Taking your vertical videos from looking like this to looking like this. Next up is M Behavior. This includes 150 easy drag and drop motion animations that can be applied to anything on the timeline. For example, I could add a leap transition to the beginning of this text effect, then put a jump animation in the middle, and then another leap out effect at the end. And the final result will look like this. If you want to motion track surfaces right inside of Final Cut Pro, then you need to check out Motion VFX M Tracker Surface plugin. This allows you to track any surface in a video and then overlay a photo or a video onto that surface and it will track in 3D space. Number nine is the M Transition Tear Collection. This includes a total of 50 different drag and drop transitions that have this kind of fast paced stop motion paper tearing effect. These are really cool stylistic transitions. I have seen people manually make paper tearing transitions like this before, but it's incredibly time consuming. So to have 50 of these transitions that are drag and drop ready to go is gonna save you tons of time. 
I really like the kind of grungy, chaotic feel. There's a lot of different elements going on inside of each one of these transitions that really sets them apart from the super basic transitions that come with Final Cut Pro. The built-in transitions in Final Cut are like the fade transition or the slide transition. So to put one of these paper tearing transitions into your video is on a whole nother level. Next up is the M Movements plugin. This also includes 50 drag and drop effects, and these are for creating pan and zoom effects on your photos or videos. A few of my favorite from this pack include the chaotic zoom in, which seems like the perfect effect for like when a detective discovers a clue on a crime scene. The distortion zoom, which is kind of trippy, and the multiple zoom in effect, which gives you up to three different adjustments target points to zoom in on and it will smoothly move from one to the next. Now you can make pan and zoom effects in Final Cut Pro manually by making keyframes and then making adjustments, but this plugin not only speeds up your workflow with drag and drop effects, but it also gives you a few additional controls that you don't otherwise have in Final Cut. So with this, you can create a zoom effect that starts off slowly and then speeds up in the middle or starts off fast and then slows down. So it just gives you a lot more control over the pacing of the pan or the zoom. And number 12 is the M Mockup plugin, which gives you a whole bunch of assets and templates for creating these really cool collages and split screen effects. These templates have a bunch of drop zones in them where you can place your own photos or videos, and they each include their own unique animations as well that look really professional. Some of them have a lot of drop zones, so you can have a bunch of different photos or videos on screen at once. And then some of them just have one drop zone, but that drop zone will be inside of like a Mac computer or an iPhone. This could be a really cool effect if you were doing a screen record on your phone that you're going to show in your video. And instead of having the screen record just pop up in your video, you could put that screen record inside of the iPhone asset, which would look way more dynamic. And now the last and most expensive plugin that we're gonna be taking a look at today is MTracker 3D. This can be used to easily add 2D or 3D objects into your videos and accurately track them within 3D space. There's usually a pretty big learning curve and quite a few steps to take in order to 3D track footage like this using other software. But with MTracker 3D, all you do is drag the effect onto your video clip and then click track. It'll take a few minutes to load. The video that I have here is a 30 second clip and it took about two minutes to process on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. And once that's finished, you can then add any of these included text effects or elements and they'll track perfectly with the other objects in the video as though they were actually there in real life. You can also add your own photos, videos, or 3D objects as well. Adding your own photos and videos is really simple, but if you wanna add your own 3D objects, there are a few steps you'll need to take in Apple Motion in order to create the correct file type that's compatible with MTracker. But if you're already creating your own 3D models, I'm sure you'll find this fairly simple to figure out. Now, just to clarify, there is a difference between the built-in tracker within Final Cut Pro and MTracker 3D. As you've already seen, MTracker 3D tracks the entire scene to determine how the camera was moving throughout the video. Well, the object tracker in Final Cut Pro only tracks individual objects. I've been really impressed with all of the plugins that I've downloaded from Motion VFX. You should definitely check them out even if you don't use Final Cut Pro. Most of their plugins also work on Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve as well. Like I mentioned before, links for their website in the description below. You can go check out some more of my videos right over here and I'll see you guys next time.